Nityanandam Swamiji's Leela Swamiji's narration on Surya Namaskar from sunrise to sunset The breakthrough point Yogananda Puri tells me to do Surya Namaskar from sunrise to sunset One day during my yoga training maybe when I was 10 years Yogananda Puri made me do Surya Namaskar from sunrise to sunset He said do Surya Namaskar till I come back and went away only in the evening he came back when you start doing surya namaskar by 70 or 80 rounds you have you will have an idea no i cannot no more forget about it but if you somehow push it by 120 150 200 rounds you will have a breakthrough after that whether it is 2000 or 3000 you will not even remember breakthrough point is what i call satori breakthrough point happens when you understand time if you understand time even with the boundary of the past and future make yourself intense that breakthrough happens into boundaryless time when you understand and experience the breakthrough point mind becomes vedic mind body becomes yogic body with the breakthrough point only your personal computer comes a laptop with an internet connection to the cosmic energy i literally felt as if my knee had become individual independent path i could not handle myself i didn't know what to do with my joints so he himself bought a gunny bag from nearby and he himself cut it and tied around my knee then slowly i walked to my house and yogananda puri also came with me and the moment i entered the house i just fell flat on the floor raghupati yogi's face my cousin's fury my cousin brother who lived in the same house who was dumb and deaf were highly protective and possessive of me he asked in me in his own language swami ji so what happened what happened i could not tell anything i just pointed towards yogananda puri to indicate ask him by this guy my cousin didn't understand he thought the yogananda puri was responsible for my condition so he went inside the house and brought a knife to kill yogananda puri he was trying to cut yogananda puri and he said just in gesture in his own way whoever did this to my swami i will not leave them alive then my father came there and interfered and stopped him my father's amazing cognition if guru does it it is right my father also could not understand what happened to me my father was highly possessive of me i saw already there was a tears in my father's eyes he asked what happened what happened i said from morning till evening i did surya namaskar so i have a knee pain so i tied these in the, these immediately i saw my father's face change when he understood it was between me and yogananda puri he just hid his tear and said if guru does it it is right keep quiet he said my cousin inside and did not utter a single word to my guru as usual he touched guru my guru's feet and told him took him inside for a coffee and i was just lying there i was not even taken inside i was still lying on the veranda and my father took yoga in the puri inside for coffee but i tell you that this is the greatest thing my father did to me he never tried to put any stupid ideas of comfortable life into my head he never ever gave his own ideas about life to me he was such a amazing father saying this swami ji beautifully narrates how he was living and experience his guruvak thank you nityanandam